So first off, we're going to make a couple trades here. First move offhand is trading Jacob Markstrom <coughs> to the New Jersey Devils. For Merrick Mazinek. make this move. He's going to the wild. I'll take Parise. I sneak a third round in there for the next year. Alright, so let's do all our moves. So I'm gonna move Hinnestroza and Watson to, or Watson to center, Hinnestroza and Aver to left wing. Lovely part of the editing profile. Kitty. Those jerseys are still trippy. So I move Watson to center. So now I got my centers. And Aberg and Burkowski to left wing. Why not add that for him? <clears throat> Whoever my leading scorer at the end of the year will get a celebration added to them. If they are over 20 goals, they get a goal celebration added. That's what I normally do. If somebody gets over 20, they get a goal celebration added. 
in both the NHL and AHL. So by the time that they get to the NHL, they have one to feel confident about. So now that I've done that, and I can take a look at this and go with that, let's take a look at the roster and the lines. Because, you know, <coughs> now that I made the proper moves, There we go. All that took. There we go. So we got Hidden Strozer, Capo Caco, and them all on the right side. Let's see how this line rolls. All right, here we're looking at Bogosia, D'Angelo, Jake McCabe, and Cole, Stone, and Peach. Let's see how our goaltenders are. Stay Locker and Soros. Fabro and Mufro League. And then knowing my luck, I'll go. So since I'm not really A no, a no, a no, and a no. A hell no. No, no, definitely not. Why edit that? Take you out, add you, and add. works for me. Any kind of movement would fuck that up. That's good. And as far as the AHL goes, let's take a look at that top line. Card told him. Sturm Grimaldi. Goalie. Troy Grosnick and Cutter Eagle Scratches. Oh, there we go. 
Gerard Foot Allard. Let's take a stab here. There's three of those. Sip the next game. Paul Schneider just joined my team to add a little more oof to my uh, offensive juggernaut that is my AHL team. So we're gonna do that lineup, and then we're gonna go with this. And we're gonna take a look over here and see how this is all going. Yep, and we got all that all figured out. Did they win again? Oh no, we lost the game. Period one, no score. Period two, uh, Nico Stam and Daniel Carr scored on any lap. Period number three, Ellie Tolvanen and even Igor Lorazev. Lorazev. And officially, Capo Caco is healed from his injury. <coughs> All right, so on to the next game versus the San Diego Gulls, who are 0 4. What nothing? Oh god, their goalie's Jeff Glass. 4 1. Carry Stern, Carr. We're going to do all periods here. So we have Cal Riley, Carr, Carry, and Nico Stern. Well, they got one in the second, but no, oh, we'll live. Holy crap, it was 6 to 2. So on to the next game. Let's see what Biggington got, because if it looks any type of dicey, I jump in. So, period one, nothing. Period two, nothing. So, we're going to go times eight and hit play. Oh, they got one. left. I'm going to take a jump. I refuse to lose to the Devils organization, period. Or as Taylor Hall would say, I'd rather stick my dick in a cup of broken light bulbs. Play 
resumes as the puck is dropped. Over the line they come. All alone! Oh, what a stop! Oh, what a large stop here. Enormous wow. moments in the game. Spectacular. If you can play in this 100 feet of the ice, you're going to probably win this game. Get the puck into the offensive zone with a simple smart... Trying to get loose on the breakaway! He scores! Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, and he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy! Oh, James, this is your fault. I know you said shut out in your head. You broke the curse. This is in the net. That goalie's not happy with you. The Grizzlies have come up with a huge third period goal here late to set up for a dramatic finale. They push hard for this tying goal, and now that they have it, don't take your foot off the gas. Try and get the winner before you get anywhere near overtime. Here they are on the attack, and he takes a shot, makes the save. From one end of the blue line to the other. Here's a blast, misses wide. Receives the pass. Utah's gained possession along the boards. The Devils take possession here in the open ice. Binghamton's got the puck against the half wall. With some momentum driving towards the net. And there's the save. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Find some space in the corner. Moves the puck. Blocked in traffic. <coughs> There's the horn. Regulation time has expired, and we are off to overtime. Ray and I will take a quick breather with OT coming up next. along the wall nice pass here they come on the attack the game on the line in on a breakaway nothing doing that plan didn't work handles the puck at the point game wow. on a stick scores and that's the game they take it in They need it over time, but they come up big in the extra frame. Always an unbelievable feeling to score an overtime goal. You score, and you feel that you've just ended it. It's so, so cool to do. Alright, so we can send to the next game. Like I said, I'll be right back.
I have returned from my slumber. <coughs> You can't tell me that's a funny. <laughs> that coil was charred off, motherfucker. Probably what made me sick. back. I hate when they do this. There we go. A lot, ladies and germs, is how you fix an atomizer short. It's kind of worth the juice waste, but. Let's hope I didn't waste all this juice. <coughs> well, that 
goes through a whole lot smoother. Score one more, we're jumping. And I'm ready. <coughs> Got one. <sighs> That's what happens when you have an 80 overall goalie. Texas will go to work as they win the draw. Got a great heads-up defensive play here. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Dowling's got the puck. Centering pass in front, and they can't convert on the play. Trying to gain separation. What a stop by the goaltender. Yeah, he was able to gauge his speed against the skaters. He moved back nicely with them to make the stop. The Stars take it across the blue line. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Connects with the long lead pass here in the middle. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop. Goalie keeps his nose right <coughs> over top of the puck to handle that deep to make the save. Takes the feet at the back end. Let's the wrister go. Stopped by the goaltender. Well past the midway mark of this period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. The Grizzlies have it against the wall. Move to the middle, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Gets it over to Moray. Picks off the pass. The Grizzlies continue to be in the right place. He let that one go oh, after the whistle. I get what he's thinking. Lots of times you don't want to fight the guy that's staring you down. Put that up there, Look at that move. Puck lands back onto a stick. Oh, and a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Nearing the point. Here's a chance to set up now. Puck picked up by Grimaldi. Right in the slot. Whoa. Scores! Uh, the mountain looks a little less steep now. They get to within one with that marker there. This is a case of one team just working harder <coughs> than the other. Once the puck is turned over, they stay on it. They're on it like a pack. And eventually they get the puck to the scoring zone and they capitalize. Here's a chance. Rocco. Ahead. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Again, these guys' arms are going to get higher. Two goals in 10 seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. Utah's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches, doesn't it? It does, but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored. I suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up, even though the game is tied. Gabrick's going to play it against the half wall. Backhander, blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Here in the dying moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Denied by the defender. Nice block. <coughs> Carries it across the line. The Grizzlies scoop it up along the boards. Bank pass off the boards. Texas looks to attack. 
Another stop by the goaltender. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. The Stars have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here he is, gaining steam. I don't know what to describe that as. I can tell you whatever he thought was going to happen, it wasn't that. They don't even get a shot. <coughs> I think I missed it, you know, like a pure opportunity. But... Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. There's the physical side. It's a nail-biter here as we approach the final minute of regulation. And makes the save. Dead center, excellent save. Utah's looking to break out. Texas takes possession of the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Slides the puck near the front of the net. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nice. Robertson's got it in the offensive end. The Grizzlies gain control of the puck against the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, what a stop! I was about to say, yeah, go to that side. Let it go to that side. I so many guys that shoot on the, the right side. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. And he loses control of the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Right in front of the net! And a stick in the lane ends that threat. There's the horn to signal the end of the third period. We are still tied. <coughs> All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you could cut it with a knife. Sudden death over time. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Chance to win it, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And he regains control of the puck. And the puck leaves the zone. Utah's got it now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. On the attack along the boards. Puts it on goal. And that goes off a player in front. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Utah's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed, and he moves it up to Carr. Drives it to the front of the net, and makes the save. <coughs> A fake face off here inside the offensive end. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Texas has possession of it now. Utah's got possession here in the neutral zone. They've got numbers. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. One minute left. Elite Less than 60 period. seconds to play here in OT. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Stopped by the goaltender. Through center along the wing. Sends it over. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. <coughs> Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Carries it in. Puck dumped in. 
Handles the puck. Scoops up the puck now. The Grizzlies have it now. The Stars have it from their own end. With possession along the wall. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Shuts him down. Overtime solves absolutely nothing. So we'll head to a shootout. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget. First shooter's about to go. Looking to set the tone here in this shootout. Poked away. <coughs> Counterpunch back with a goal. This is it. Pumped away by the goaltender. No goal. Didn't have much in the way of creativity there as he gets shut down. And with the game on the line, he comes up empty-handed. When he puts his head on his pillow tonight, he's going to think of that shot again and wonder where it went wrong. It needed a shootout, and that's where we find our winner in this one. Once you don't solve it in regulation time, now it comes into this individual contest. They had the better shooters. Their goalie was better. It's their game. Let's see, how far am I up? I uh, are from Wolfpack. Oh, they're in the other division. So what I'm going to do is edit player. Since I'm in the AHL, might as well give him a goalie match.
Three of my goalies are getting goalie masks, but... I wonder what happens if I go to Carolina. Will it give me like a Whalers one? Give me Carolina. So much for the whaler's mask, but I'll come up with something. I just do something like that. Oh, that's not gonna So we got Saros and Stalock. How's Saros doing? He's got four games played, one win, 4.2 goals against average. He's got two years left on his contract.
So as you see, I'm into my next game. Alright, so after one, Hartford's up by one. After two, Hartford's still up by one. I let the wife know that the kid was up at 2 a.m. So if he gets in trouble, it's on him. And this is my last game, folks, because after this, I'm going to bed. I will pick this video up tomorrow. <coughs> Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Right in the open ice, that one's picked oh, off. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Shot, he scores! Perfect timing. Goaltender who's been running a shutout. Finally, they get one. <coughs> Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. Utah's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Here they are on the attack. Back to the point it goes. Here's a blast. Stops him cold. Hammers one from the point, and he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Here's a blast. With the steal. Takes the shot. Can't get it to go. From the blue line. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. Tees it up from the blue line. Stones him in front. Stays with it. Moves it quickly over to Butler. Hartford's on the attack. Here's a shot and puts it right over the crossbar. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Denies him! Nowhere to go. Really good move, but the goalie is right in front of the puck. <coughs> Takes a blast. No, sir. Here's an offensive chance. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Let's it go from the back end. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Knocked away. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. Slides the puck over. Moves close to the point. Moves the puck behind the net. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Uh, the defenders can regroup right now. That's a long time they've been chasing the puck around in their zone. They look like they've got nothing left in the tank. Carrier swooping in on the attack. Just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Looking to make something happen along the boards. From off the wall and onto a stick. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Whistle blown <coughs> as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's 2-1. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Grabs control of it at the point. Puts it to the front of the net, and that's blocked away. The Wolfpack have the puck against the boards. Passes right to the front. Scores! Oh, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone, and now we're evened up again. The Grizzlies have drawn even here in the back half of the third. 
working away at the game. You want to give yourself the best chance to win. You don't want this lingering on too long. Now they've tied it. There's the go ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Utah's gone ahead by one here in the third period. Still a few minutes left, but time of the essence now. They're in a good position here now that they have the lead. They can control how they want to run their lines onto the ice and try and bring this home. Scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They've dominated this play. The Grizzlies extend their lead here in the home stretch of this one, Ray. You'd like to think that you're in great shape here, but one mistake makes this a one-goal game again. They still have to stay aggressive. He scores! There's the hat trick, and here come the hats. Man, it is loud in here. The guy <laughs> jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Oh, that's a great move. He gets in so tight to the goaltender. He sells the shot, holds it onto his forehand, and then puts it away. Well, this play's still buzzing. They finally got the ice clear of all the hats. How hard is it to score in the first place, Ray? Well, the other guys are trying pretty hard, so it's not, not very easy to score. But to have a night where it all goes right, you remember these. What a moment. Gives them nothing in front. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Tenorti's moving the puck to his own zone. And now he angles it across to Richard. Schneider's carrying it ahead. Wait up front! Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Sends a pass over. Schneider's working it around in the corner. Right up front! Redirected! Comes up with a big pad save to deny. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. Big time defensive play. Kabarik's got it across the line. Comes up with the stop. Nice feed from the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's taken by the defense. Utah's been able to... Con He's in, all alone! Stays with it for the save! He was all over this deep. A nice move, but the goaltender is right on it. Shot in front! Scores! It's in the back of the net! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Utah's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Let's it go from the slot. It's in the back of the net. They're being called off immediately here. Yeah, goal the interference, James. Uh, the ref has waved this off immediately. Hutchison's not very happy on this. The puck beat him, but right away he's signaling to the ref that he was interfered with. Yeah, it looks like interference on the play here, Ray. Let's get another look. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Carrier's taking it from his own end. And the whistle essentially delays the inevitable here. Yeah, nobody's very happy, James, in a blowout game with another whistle. Start and stop. Everybody wants to go home. Utah's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Grabbed along the boards by Grimaldi. Scores! The Grizzlies are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. <coughs> Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And that one's turned away. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. One of the oldest cliches.
cliches in the book is that it's a 60-minute hockey game. They were great for 40 minutes, James. Unfortunately for them, they had to play the last 20. It is stunning to think that this team began the third with a lead, and for the bottom to fall out like it did is shocking. All right, so this is MK Creek Squad, Daniel Goodemo. I'm also the host of From Milwaukee to Nashville. Go check us out on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, check out Hockey Fan Dad Reacts. I'm the lead reactor on Hockey Fan Dad Reacts. Um, also check out From Mill to Nash Gaming. Um, I will be doing stuff with that shortly. Um, that is up. I haven't done much with it lately, but it will be. It'll be coming back. Um, so, uh, paste.